Welcome to Quick Tips by Go Engineer. My name is Tandy Banks, a lead applications engineer. Today I'm going to spend a little bit of time in the assembly environment showing you how to use in context relations to create uh, coping cuts around structure members and, and specifically here uh, being able to do coping around piping so that we can build a, a lateral like I've uh, shown you here. So I've got a couple of parts in here. I've got a branch and a run and I've got those mated to a sketch that I'm able to, to be able to make adjustments and changes to so it makes it really flexible for me to be able to set this up for um, multiple laterals, multiple um, design scenarios that I've got. And so what I want to do is I want to create a cut in this branch that's represented uh, based off of this run. So I'm just going to use edit part functionality and I'll come in here and create a new cut using the face of this run and I'll create a circle uh, around you know concentric to this run down here and then I'm going to use a dimension to fully define this and allow me to be able to you know maybe I want to run this dead on maybe I want to be able to create 30 thousandths over so being having dimension there allows me that flexibility I'm going to use the through all in condition to be able to cut all the way through the, this branch that we've got and you can see how that quickly cuts that back well the secret that I'm using here is I've got sheet metal functionality built into each of these parts so that way as I make this cut and I and I get this normal two functionality from sheet metal I get a nice full penetration connection that the fabricators really love in order to be able to create these laterals so if we take a look at this particular part you'll see that I used a regular extrusion now the profile that I used to create this extrusion I got from my toolbox structural steel and the, all the library of different structure members that we've got with uh, within our toolbox area I was able to pick up my pipe shape didn't have to remember IDs and ODs for a 3 inch schedule 40 pipe extruded that a length and then I created a pie shape cut down here at the bottom just a very thin sliver I cut away from my piece of pipe in order to be able to apply my sheet metal functionality. Inside sheet metal I used the insert bins function and I selected one of the linear edges created by that pie cut. Now I also in my sheet metal I have the K factor set to a 1 and what that means is all the thickness of my material goes to the inside 100 percent that's what the K factor of 1 equals. So what I'm able to do is to show the flat pattern for this particular part and see what that would look like if we were to lay it out or if we were to cut this on a thin piece of shim stock with a laser or send this over to our saddle cut. And I want to verify that 10.98 inches is the length of my flat and whenever I look at that in the rolled up version I can use my measure tool and confirm 10.98 inches is exactly what I need. So just a little bit of verification to make sure that my circumference and my K factor match. By having that sketch set up in here, I could dial this in to um, 60 degrees or to 30, anywhere in between. Whatever's needed for my particular design scenario, and I know that I've got the coped cuts as well as the uh, flat wraps to go along with each one of those. Thank you for watching Quick Tips by Go Engineer. My name is Tandy Banks.